गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस क्लास वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ हाईवेज हाईवेज आर क्लासिफाइड बेस्ड ऑन डिफरेंट क्राइटेरियाज फॉर एग्जाम्पल डिपेंडिंग ऑन वेदर ऑल वेदर रोड्स मीन्स दिस रोड इज सुटेबल फॉर ऑल वेदर्स फेयर वेदर रोड्स मीन्स दिस टाइप ऑफ रोड इज ऑनली सुटेबल फॉर फेयर वेदर्स Another criteria is depending on the type of carriageway, that is paved road or WBM water bound macadam, and unpaved road like earth road and gravel roads. Depending upon the pavement surface, it is surface road like uh, surface it is surface by bituminous or cement concrete road, and unsurface road. Classification of highways based on the traffic volume. it may be classified as heavy medium and light based on load or tonnage it will be classified as class 1 class 2 etc or class a class b etc tons per day based on location and function and uh, it is proposed uh, based on nagpur road plan and it is national highway in short is nh state highway sh major district road mdr other district road odr and village roads based on modified system of uh, highways classification that is uh, highways are classified in in three categories primary secondary and tertiary in primary it is expressway and uh, national highways and uh, secondary is state highway and major district roads and tertiary is other district road and village roads let us discuss one by one that what is expressway expressways are heavy traffic at high speed mm, it is approximately 120 km per hour and land width is 90 meter it has full access control it connects major points of traffic generation no slow moving traffic is allowed like uh, rickshaw or uh, motorcycle bicycle all these things are not allowed on expressways no loading and loading and parking so these are the characteristics of uh, expressways for example mumbai pune expressway as seen from khandala khandala this is the picture of mumbai pune expressway another is national highways national highways are the main highways running through the length and breadth of india connecting major parts foreign highways capital of large states and large industrial and tourist centers including roads required for strategic movement for the defense of india the national highways have total length of 70540 kilometers indian highways cover 2% of total road network of india and carries 40% of the total traffic the highways connecting delhi ambala amritsar is donated by as nh1 national highway 1 whereas the bifurcation of this highway beyond jalandhar to shrinagar and uri is denoted by nh1 a the longest highway in india is nh7 which stretches from varanasi in uttar pradesh to kanyakumari in southern most point of indian mainland The shortest highway is NH 47H 47A, which stretches from Arunachalam to Kochi and covers total length of only four kilometers. And uh, Golden Quadrilateral, that is approximately 5,846 kilometers, and it connects the four metropolitans. See here, Delhi to Kolkata, Kolkata to Chennai, Chennai to Mumbai, and Mumbai to Delhi. it since it seems like a quadrilateral that is why it is called golden quadrilateral uh, for example nh2 delhi to kolkata from delhi to kolkata nh4 7 and 46 chennai to mumbai chennai to mumbai and nh5 and 6 kolkata to chennai kolkata to chennai and nh8 delhi to mumbai so these are the part of golden quadrilaterals state highways the they are the arterial roads of of a state connecting up with the national highways of adjacent states district headquarters and important cities within the state 
total length of state highway in the country is 137119 kilometers and the speed limit is 80 km per hour major district roads important roads with within a district serving areas of production and market connecting those with each other or with uh, major highways india has a total 470000 kilometers of major district road and the speed limit for major district road is 60 to 80 km per hour other district roads serving rural areas of produ uh, production and providing them with outlet to market centers or other important roads like major district road or state highway and speed limit is 50 to 60 km per hour village roads they are roads connecting villages or group of villages with each other or to the nearest road of a higher category like other district road or major district road india has 26 lakh 50000 kilometers of other district road and village road out of the total 33 lakh 15000 to 31 kilometer of all type of road and the speed limit for village roads are 40 to 50 kilometers and urban roads are classified as arterial roads sub arterial roads collector local street cul-de-sac pathway and driveway and what is arterial no frontage access no standing vehicle very little cross traffic design speed is 80 km per hour land width is 50 to 60 meter divided roads with full or partial parking pedestrian allowed to walk only at intersection sub arterial roads bus stop but not standing vehicle less mobility than arterial stretching is 0.5 km design speed 60 km per hour and land width is 30 to 40 meters Collector collects and distributes traffic from local streets, provides access to arterial roads located in residential, business and industrial areas, full access allowed, parking permitted, design speed is 50 km per hour and land width is 20 to 30 meters. And the local street is design is 30 km per hour, land width is 10 to 20 meters, primary access to residence, business or other averting property, less volume of traffic at slow speed, unrestricted parking, pedestrian movement with frontage access parked vehicle, bus stop and no waiting restriction. Dead end streets with only one entry access for entry and exit. Here you can see some are dead ends recommended in residential areas. Driveway. A driveway is a type of private road for local access to one or a small group of structures and is owned and maintained by an individual or group. Driveways are commonly used as path to private garages, fuel stations or houses. So, thank you. Thanks for watching.